I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Jordan, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 10 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we are on the run uh, from rescue teams, from the people in the, the Pokemon Square, whatever you want to call it, the uh, where our base is located. They're chasing us because they think we are a human of legend. A bastard of a human that betrayed our partner Gardevoir. And we are basically, and not only that, but also we might be causing a, 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 like an unbalancing of the world and the world might end. Whatever. It's, just leave us alone, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we went through Lapis Cave. And now we're here at Mount Blaze. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So we already did some item management, I believe, at the end of last episode. Looks good to me. Let's rock out, baby. I'll be waiting while you get ready. Just kidding, I'm ready. I didn't mean to click not ready. There we go. Let's do it, baby. So we can go to the Rock Path or Mount Blaze. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is. It really doesn't matter either way, to be honest. I don't know if it really makes a difference. Some coffee here. We're gonna squat up. I don't think squat up really affects us because uh, we can't really uh, recruit any Pokemon while we're on the run here. So we got a Slugma here. He's in Harden. Yeah. So we're in this. This is a very beautiful looking dungeon, by the way. I love the lava, the rocks. And this game in general is just a really gorgeous looking game. You know, at first when we played the demo, I wasn't like crazy about the art style. I kind of like just something a little bit more, uh, I almost said natural, I mean, it's a video game, but you know what I mean, like, it looks a little bit more like a regular Pokemon game, right? But the art style has grown on me quite a bit, I knew it probably would. Um, I do like the art style, it's very cute, um, the shading's really nice, but it did take me a little bit of getting used to, admittedly. But I like it, and uh, I'm glad they went with this direction. I'll take out the Slugma. Um, we have a Sleep Seed and an Ether. Oh yeah, we can walk in fire. Squirtle probably can, but we'll get burnt if uh, if she does. Second floor, a slow trap. I do like that the traps only like trigger once and then they disappear. That's very helpful. I guess it's probably to counterbalance the fact that we don't have like IQ anymore. Double Ember attack. Goes for the smog attack. You heathen. Water Gun, and the lovely Dragon Rage. Ah, oh, well we might as well get some training while we're here. Yeah, we're in the pit of the, uh, the fire here, look at this. It looks like what it looks like, uh, like on the inside of a Hot Pocket after you cook it in the microwave. Sort of reminds me, it feels like it too sometimes, let me tell you. But the strangest thing is, like, at first it tastes like like hot lava, and then it tastes like an iceberg. It's the weirdest thing. It's hot pockets, you know. <laughs> what am I even talking about? I'm here talking trash on hot pockets. I love hot pockets. Well, I like. I wouldn't say I love them. I like them. I, I would eat them. I do get tired of them after a while, just like anybody else. But. You know, if I had a Hot Pocket right now, I'd probably eat it, you know? If I had not a, haven't had a Hot Pocket in probably a couple years, but, uh, I'd eat it. Just the pepperoni one, though. I'm not too crazy about some of their, like, weird, like, tastes. Like, some of their weird recipes. Their ham and cheese is pretty solid. Pepperoni, of course, is classic. 
but that's pretty much it for me. Plain cheese ones are pretty bad. Not a fan of that. I don't know, just something about it just doesn't taste right. Same with pizza rolls. Don't like plain cheese pizza rolls. Alright, so here's some stairs. We're pretty much going to try to run through this as fast as possible. Because we are kind of low on supplies overall, so like... I just gotta be careful with how we use our supplies. Uh, Dragon Rage. Oh, he dug into a sparkling floor. What did he get? Ooh, it's sunny. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, we got a deluxe box, pretty box. That's it, huh? So, he must have found nothing in the sparkling ground. A lot of Pokemon in front of us. Goes for rock throw, that hurt a lot. And flame burst, we got knocked out. Well, we have one Reviver Seed. We're gonna go ahead and use that son of a gun. Water gun. This is bad. This is real bad. Can you stop missing, Honoka? Like, what are you doing, girl? As right, so I take out Slugma, goes for focused energy. Flame burst. He flame burst, but misses. And we got a level up. Honoka now level 19. And once learn scary face, we're gonna pass on that. Uh yes. Oh, this Pokemon's asleep. It's a Pidgeot, wow. Oh god. F it. Boom, baby, that 50 EXP. Magby. Dragon Rage. And Water Gun. Another Magby. Goes for Smoke Screen, you dirty scallywag. Let's set up this Wonder Tile. Another Magby. Got another Reviver Seed. That's definitely a welcome uh, item, considering we're completely out of them. I think we got absolutely bodied by those two Pokemon earlier. Mount Blaze, the sixth floor. Got some monies, some more monies. Dragon Rage, missed again. Honoka, open up your eyes. Magby, watch your gun. Why do you keep switching back and forth, Honoka? What are you doing, girl? Oh, it worked out. Um, take this max out there. We're probably going to need it. Water gun. Flame burst. So it's got to be down this way, yeah? Oh, the stairs are right here. I couldn't see it because the damn Magby's on top of it. <laughs> couldn't see it on the minimap. Take that, you nerd. Alright, Mount Blaze is the seventh floor. Oh, 
A one shot, he will take it. Another Pidgey Ot. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That is a whole lot of damage. Um. Shoot. Oof. Can we just survive that? Got to level up on Umi level 20, baby. I'm going to go ahead and feed uh, Umi a max ether. Or I guess, is feeding, feeding is not really the, the right word. But like, I don't know what you would, <laughs> like what would you call like giving someone a drink in the, in the tense of like feeding? Because it's not drinking. She's like, she's drinking it, but I'm not drinking it for her, right? I'm not force, force, forcing it down either. I don't really know what I would call that. It's kind of a weird thing to think about. Either way, gave her a drink. All right, take out Slugma, pick up this money. Another Slugma. Water good. Bam! Flame burst. Pidgeot. I'm just gonna move up here, I guess. Beautiful. Ninth floor. I'm not sure how big this dungeon is. I'm gonna guess 15 floors. Because I think that's how large uh, the Lapis Cave was. Ooh, a Torkoal. Double Ember Attack. And another Torkoal. Umi is hurting a little bit. Uh, let's, not, let's not use it for now, okay? Let's just uh, relax. So we got Slugma here, go for Rock Throw. We freaking missed. Are you kidding me, man? Stop missing, Bobby. I right, would take him out, no problem. There's a the stairs, I'm gonna grab this item. Some money. Uh oh. I'll take him out. Another orange berry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm like, I just have the habit of using my set move by pushing the same combination of uh, like left, what would you call this, the bumper? They call it LZ on here, but like it feels like a PS4 controller, it's the uh, the bumper, the trigger, or whatever. So like, when I was playing on uh, the emulator, I was using that plus the A button to uh, do the, uh, the set attack, and I keep doing that out of habit. That's why I keep like throwing random dragon <laughs> rages. Uh, it just doesn't quite work out. Eleventh floor. We've got Slugma right in front of us. Ooh, a treasure chest. Water gun. And water gun. We're actually out of uh, Dragon Rages. <clears throat> and with the Toasty Ember. Double Flame Burst for the win. 
We're almost out of food. Let's go ahead and pop an apple. A big apple. Spiking damage. Here's another Max Ether on uh, Squirtle. Give a water gun back. Twelfth floor. A lot of Pokemon over here. Ooh, an Arcanine. Bunch of items. A lot of EXP. And here we go. So, oh no, so we're kind of like in the half point. We can deposit some items, withdraw some items. Uh, we'll get rid of the wands. I don't think we can get rid of the boxes, unfortunately. Uh, we'll get rid of these uh, useless seeds. We might keep the sleep seed. That might come in handy if we go against a boss of sorts. Same with these rocks. We may want those. What do we have in here that we might want? A little max elixir, maybe? Just to be safe? Um, this effect is permanent. Hmm. We'll drink a calcium, I guess. Alright, let's rock. So now we're at the peak. Oh, and there's a store to our right. Interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and take that protein. Or sorry, the calcium. There we go. Let's deal with Arcanine first. Oh, he's got Thunderfang? Right, so we got some items here, uh, some orbs, an orinberry. That looked like a Moltres for a second, <laughs> but it's just a Pharaoh. <laughs> I was like, what? Intarnation is going on, Bobby. It's really nothing we need from this shop, but you know, it's cool to see it. Bubble attack. Double the dragon rage, double the fun. Fourteenth floor. Got a rock of sorts. Ooh, a TM. Oh, man. 
Double the flame burst, double the fun. We're going to have to attack this Arcanine anyways, because I want this uh, TM. Echoed voice, interesting. So here we go, we are now at the peak of this volcano. This looks incredible. Huh, <laughs> Umi even said it, this is incredible. Halt. I can hear the mountain screams. It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing my blaze to wreath in agony. Is it you? Da, da. Oh my god. Yo, this looks amazing. And of course, we have to face Moltres here. The Mound's Rage? Is he, did you say the Mound's Rage is my stage? I didn't see what he said. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. Ungod. Yo, look at Moltres, dude. I'm a little nervous about this fight. Uh, let me just go over here. Agility, yikes. Um, so I was thinking about using the Sleep Seed. Ember attack. That was a critical. Yikes. Goes for Ember, hits Squirtle. Ooh, a double Ember attack. Water gun. Flame burst. Should probably eat an orange berry. Double the bubble, double the fun. Fire spin. And with that dragon rage, but we missed. Didn't miss that time, Bobby. Wing attack, oof. We pop an orange berry. Double the bubble, double the fun. And we won. So it took a lot of damage from us, obviously, but uh, we ended up beating Moltres here. So we've beaten Zapdos, we've beaten Moltres so far, as far as legendaries go. I wonder how recruiting is going to work when we get to, like, legendaries. Like, how hard it's going to be to recruit them. And you should know, this mountain isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are happening in all sorts of places. We can't do anything, we're fugitives now. But we want to help Pokemon in these times of natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And... Promise me this. Promise me that you'll find the cause of the calamities that rack our world. Or wreck our world? Why well, I say rack? It's a nice rack. And stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. We will. We will do it as soon as we can. 
We're being chased, so we can't get on it right away, but we're a rescue team. We'll get to the bottom of what's causing the natural calamities, I promise. You've made me believe that, you will honor it, as long as you don't forget the courage you showed in facing me. <laughs> Is there anything else? Farewell. Until we meet again, Moltres, because one day you'll be part of my rescue team. You will be an idol. Anyways, uh, we should get off of Mount Blaze 2. So we got some treasure chests here, a bronze ticket, a payback TM, silver dojo ticket. We walked a lot, didn't we? I'm tired, let's get a little rest. Yo, this scene is... this. The whole area is so beautiful. Look at this. The view's fantastic. Oh, look, Konica, look over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a long way, haven't we? Are we about to play tic tac toe on the ground over there? I doubt that many Pokemon would be able to get through it. And it wasn't easy coming this far from that mountain. Do you want to know what I think? Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. Yep. Yep. We don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep on moving. Am I tired? They're trying to catch us. We don't have time to rest. And remember what I said? I said I would go with you, Honoka. Oh, please, don't look like that. Honest, I'm fine. And so, Honoka's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row. Row? 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 <laughs> row upon row of mountains. Forded fetid swamps and scaled frozen cliffs. Till finally, Honoka's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. A frigid wastelands of driving blizzards. Yo, look at that. This looks really good. Achoo. Oh no. You haven't got the coronavirus, do you, Bobby? Now you, see, you stay over there. You stay. See how deep the snow is? I haven't seen any of the Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. And there's Absol. What's that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure that there was somebody there. Oh my god, such a, such a gorgeous uh, scene here. Okay, we don't have a choice, we have to get through this place. It'll be horribly cold, I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. Which is to keep our spirits up and keep going, Honika. Alright, so let's do some item management real fast. Shouldn't be too much to do. Yeah, like we can put that TM up. Keep the Reviver Seed, Orange Berries, Elixirs, Ethers. We may want to pull out one more Apple. Just to be on the safe side. I mean, we ain't got many Apples left, but still. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. What an exciting episode. We battled against Moltres, our second legendary Pokemon. I mean, you guys could probably figure what's coming next. I won't say it, but it's, you know what I mean? Pretty obvious. Um, 
We're still on the run as fugitives. We're still trying to find answers as to what happened in our past. What's going on with the Legend of Nine Tails? Uh, does it connect in some way? Are we the terrible human that betrayed Gardevoir? I don't know, but we're going to find out at some point. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. Been your farewell peace and one love. Bye.